Do you know anything about Amazon EC2? Yeah, Amazon EC2, which is also known as Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, provides resizable computing capacity in the Amazon Web Services Cloud. Using Amazon EC2 eliminates the need to invest in computing hardware up front, which saves money, but also allows applications to be developed and deployed faster. You can use Amazon EC2 to launch a virtual machine. Think of it as a virtual server, or thousands of virtual servers, as your own data center. You can use Amazon EC2 to launch a virtual machine, and you can configure all of the associated security and networking settings. Does Amazon EC2 have the ability to add capacity automatically? Yes. For example, suppose you launch a new web-based game, and it gets a lot of attention online, increasing the traffic to your site to download the game. Amazon EC2 instances will automatically scale up to add capacity to handle the extra traffic. So Amazon EC2 is a virtual environment? Exactly. Amazon EC2 environments are called instances. There are a wide range of instance types that have varying combinations of CPU power, amount of memory, storage size, and networking capacity. AWS also provides pre-configured templates for your instances, known as Amazon Machine Images. These AMI templates can include just an operating system, like Windows or Linux. Or they can include a wide range of components, such as the operating systems and pre-installed software packages. I'm thinking about using Amazon EC2 for rendering my 3D animation. I'm going to need a lot of computing power for the rendering. Are there Amazon EC2 instances that can handle that? Absolutely. Amazon EC2 instances range from small micro instances for small jobs to high-performance extra-large instances for things like data warehousing. You can mix and match different instance types based on the amount of memory or compute power needed. There are even instance types with high graphic processing capabilities, which would probably be perfect for your 3D rendering. How secure are my Amazon EC2 instances? There are settings that enable you to specify the protocols, ports, and source IP ranges that can reach your instances using security groups. So security groups are similar to traditional firewalls? Yes and they are very simple to use. Awesome. How do I log in to use these machines? Let me show you. The AWS Management Console is powerful, intuitive, and very easy to use. For developers, these new unified CLI tools are extremely powerful and allow for easy API access. Take a look at how easy it is to create, find, deploy, and terminate an instance. You will see how, with just a few clicks, you can be up and running. Log in to the AWS Management Console to get started. Click Amazon EC2 icon on the AWS Management Console homepage. Click Launch Instance to begin the process. You will see here there are many different operating systems to leverage. In Step 1, choose an Amazon Machine Image, AMI. Click Select next to the AMI instance you want to pick. In this example, we are going to use a Linux AMI. Step 2. Choose an instance type. Leave the instance type set to the default, which is T1 point micro. To continue, click Next, Configure Instance Details. In Step 3, Configure Instance Details is where you would set access network settings, monitoring, and other options. We will leave all of the default options and click Next, Add Storage. At Step 4, Add Storage, you can easily add more virtual hard drives or change the drive size here. Keep the default virtual hard drive. Click Next, Tag Instance. In Step 5, Tag Instance. It is a best practice to name your instance by using the Tag Instance interface. After the click Next, Configure Security Group. At Step 6, Configure Security Group. Accept the default security group, as it allows port 22, SSH, from anywhere to this Linux instance. Click Review and Launch. Next, at Step 7, Review Instance Launch you get an overview of all of the settings of the instance you just created.
Click Launch to continue. You can upload your public key or create your own key pair here in the AWS Management Console. Click the Acknowledgement checkbox stating that you have access to the private key. Now, click Launch. What role do key pairs play? Key pairs are security features that control access to your instance after it is created. If you do not have the right key pair, you will not be able to access the instance. Let's take a look at our instance. Click View Instances to take a look at the new instance. Once the instance state has changed to running, your instance will be ready to use. To view your instance in the Amazon EC2 dashboard, click the selection box next to your instance name. Find your public DNS name and copy that connection string to your clipboard. The DNS can be used to access the system exactly as you would if it were in your own data center. Very cool. Go to www.run.quicklabs.com to try it out with a free self-paced lab.